Hey people, it's the Pilgrim, and we're going to go and tame a snow owl. First off, kibble. Um, you're going to need some of this red crystal ice sap. With the axe, when you're hitting these trees, you're getting two, three maybe. Uh, grab yourself a chainsaw, and we're getting what? Five, six? Yeah, chainsaws are better. Um, so you're going to need that crystallized sap. It's from these red trees you see everywhere. There's some down that valley there. Then, the rest of the ingredients are, you're going to need some prime meat jerky, you're going to need some uh, rare mushrooms and miho berries. You're going to need quite a lot of miho berries. You need 16 kibble, basically, for a 150 team. That's unofficial. So you're going to need like a, uh, I think you need 10 crystallised sap, so you're going to need like uh, 160 of them, 10 miho berries, 160 of them. Uh, it's one egg, one prime jerky, one rare mushroom, three fibre and water. So make sure you've got plenty for everything. Grab yourself some spino eggs. Or you, well, you can collect Allosaurus, Argiventus, Megalania, Megalosaurus, Mosachop and Tapajera. are all considered large eggs for this new one. And then you'll end up with that, which is basically your superior augmented kibble. That's what we're going to need. And get yourself to the snow biome and we're going to build a little trap simple little thing basically you want pillars down uh, snap pillars in between so like if you put two down get the ones in between as well then you want it three across and then just the same on the other side basically that's because the snow owl it can get through anything any tiny little gap it's worse than a uh, what they called pterodon build all these too high you only need a really small trap so it's quite easy on materials then at the back get uh, another pillar don't have to be perfectly lined up just snap it into the ground so you can get another one in between these two same on the other side close that gap up and make that too high and get some stone ceilings and we're just going to come two out because you want to leave some room for the dino door to be nice and close and then three across. Uh, drag a dino door right up to these pillars here. Snap that in and you're done. Simple. Then you just gotta find yourself a decent snow owl. I mean it's dead easier to build so you can fly around till you find a decent one than just pop this up somewhere that looks safe. It's basically what you're looking for. Like no gaps, because it's a little sod. And this thing, I pulled it right away from over there where those, where you can see that other one near the mammoths. And it's killed about two or three mammoths on the way over and it just would not come to me. I must have hit it half a dozen times already. It was so interesting in all the other dinosaurs. So I just killed the Ankylosaurus off. Got him to follow me. Things didn't go so well with him so I had to pull another one from across the waterfall. But I'll show you what happened to him later. I was going to speed this bit up a bit, but I'll just show you, just because it's got a really tight turning circle. So lining up with the doors can be a bit sort of finicky, you know, if it's right up close on you. You can get it from far away and get it to follow you straight in, and you're sorted, but this thing got close and started attacking the trap. It's got a turning circle, and you just want it to come like straight towards you, and it was in then, look at that, just flew straight back out again. You want that circle to come on, and then you've got trapped behind the door, obviously. And there it is. Straight inside. I said the trap's small enough, but I didn't close the doors quick enough. <laughs> I was getting a bit worried at this point. I thought I'm going to shoot it and it's just going to fly off. Yeah, you just need to get it to line up so, it, so as it turns it's like dead onto the trap. Here we go, like that. Uh, straight inside, shut the doors. Then I remembered that I didn't leave a gap big enough for myself to escape. <laughs> yeah, so just do that, sh shut the doors quick. And you got him. There you go. Take it down. I'll just speed this up a bit while I'm shooting him. Then once he started to flee, it was one, 
two, three, four, and just give it a little bit of time for it to kick in. Five, and you dropped him. You can get a bit like trigger happy and get that last shot in just as he teams. Uh, sorry, just as he goes unconscious and then you lose some of your team because you've injured him. Uh, just threw some spike walls up around his head where it was poking through the wall. Uh, just in case any more wolves or anything spawn. There we go, just get your 16 kibble. Don't need any narcotics or anything. Uh, it's tamed well before his conscious level goes up or comes down. Just wanted to make sure it was definitely the 16 that it says on the wiki, so. There we go, he's taming. It's just a matter of waiting around now. It does take about 10 minutes with the kibble. Um, my server's on official settings, so it should be exactly the same. No mods or anything. It's about halfway through. There it is, it's on its very last kibble. And uh, what's that? It's at 72 levels as well on a 150. So it tames pretty well. And then you heard that rumbling and I thought, oh, something bad's going to happen like right before it eats that last kibble. And then I realised it was just a supply drop dropping down into the wasteland. There we go, it's tamed. on it and you're good to go nice white like a nice bright color that as well those eyes man i can't get over this creature's face he looks so cool it's like that robotic clockwork eyes you probably know about all this by now but you've got your freeze ability which is your heal you can do it over any dinosaurs and it'll heal them up and also you've got the uh you know, if you're getting attacked by dinosaurs, you can do that and it'll freeze everything around you, just give you that split second to get away. And you've got your thermal vision as well. Which basically just gets brighter as you get closer. Just wondering if you'd be able to see the um, Pelovia, you know, underneath the ground. Don't know, I'll have to try that out. Or with the scout, I mean the scout you can look like right through buildings as well and see creatures on the other side or inside them. <laughs> there we go, I'm quite happy about that. This is what happened with that first one. I made this weird little trap, just testing things out and I hit it that last time and it just vanished. And then it fell out of the air like a frozen chicken, <laughs> straight into the water, typical. Right, anyway, uh, yeah, check out the rest of the channel if you get a chance, guys. Uh, put some more videos up this week, do some more builds, and thanks for watching. I hope that was a nice, simple little explanation. Catch you later.